Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Jana Adams and I am half of the Happy Hour Haulers. And we have a very special video for you today. This is a collaboration with several of our dear friends on YouTube that are all opening up a five pound uh, mystery jewelry uh, uh, box from ThreadUp and ours came from the dreaded Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. There are seven of us that are in this collab. Yesterday was Brighton over at Brighton Your Day. Today, Sunday, is Jana Adams, yours truly, at Happy Hour Hollers. Tomorrow, Marilyn over at Shady NY. Stina Resells is on Tuesday. Uh, Christina, and then French teacher in VA, Jennifer, and then Lindsay Clark. And rounding it out is Timeless Jewel by Deborah. So it's going to be multiple days of the same five pound unboxing of mystery jewelry from ThreadUp. So with that, we are going to dive in and let's see if we find any treasures. So I see a lot of big jewelry that can be good and that can be bad. Um, we'll start off with some of the bigger pieces to kind of get them out of the way. The first thing that I have is this uh, plastic beaded necklace. It looks like it might be acrylic because listening to Marilyn, I don't see seams. And it is a... Uh, kind of a chonker but it does have some damages to some of the beads um needs a little bit of a cleaning i would say so that's the first one and very tarnished here next up i have this silver tone acrylic faceted um with this fabric tie it looks like it's in pretty good condition. These silver beads could be definitely repurposed into something fun. And all of these items will be for sale. And I am going to do a giveaway of your choice of any one item that is in this, um, this mystery box for the winner. Ooh, that's really pretty. I don't know if that's bone or what that is. It looks like it's carved here. Oh, I like that piece. Um, that is definitely a chunker. Um, so your choice of any item that is in this will go to the winner. And what you will need to do is comment on everyone's video for the entire collaboration. And if you will comment, um, let's see, what do we want to comment? Thank you, Brighton, let's do that. He is the one that organized this collaboration. He has worked tirelessly on it and we wanna give him a nice shout out for it. And so, uh, thank you, Brighton, is what I'll be looking for in the comments and what I'll be drawing a winner off of. So, and we will draw that winner. We will give it until June the 12th. That'll give everyone a chance to watch all of the videos, comment on all of the videos, make sure that you're subscribed to everyone's video. And, um, and then we will do a video and announce who the winner is. It is for um, United States only. I don't know how to ship internationally. I'm sorry for those that are international. And YouTube is not sponsoring this giveaway, nor is ThreadUp. It is sponsored purely by Happy Hour Haulers. So thank you so much, guys. And looking forward to seeing all of the comments. And um, good luck on the giveaway. So next we have what looks like uh, freshwater pearls. It does have, um, um, it, it is broken. It's missing whatever. And it looked like this may have gone with it, but that's that doesn't complete it. So 
Those are pretty though. They're kind of a really creamy, almost champagne color. All right, we have just a clamper bracelet, silver tone, stretches in pretty good condition. Again, if you're interested in any of these items, feel free to email me at happyhourhaulers at gmail.com and we will give you a very good price. I've got one feather earring. Here's another feather earring. Let's see if I can get it untangled. So those are pretty boho fun with a gun metal. Let's see where do I want to pull next. Ooh, that came out rather easily. This is um, one of those, I think that you just tie this around itself and um, it hangs down. It's a long, almost like a lariat style with these faux pearl beads on it. No maker's mark on that. I have a Jennifer Lopez something or other here. Jennifer Lopez, new on the card, was $30 at Kohl's, and it is a long, looks like I've got a little bit of tangle here with the tassel, but a long tassely type, and then this faceted. That's pretty. I like the, the whatever that type of snake almost of the rope is. It's pretty cool. Okay, I definitely have some tangles here. Let me try to get this off and this. And I have no idea what this is, but it is a tangled mess and it is also very tarnished, which tells me that it is, um, and I've got some issues there too. Probably not worth detangling. So we'll stick that over to the side. Okay, this is Sophia and Kate and has a price tag of $5.99. It looks like it's one of those wrap bracelets where you do this a few times and you wrap it Made in China, $5.99. And it is gold tone with a big old honkin' feather on it. So far I'm not loving this, but there is still more good stuff to come, hopefully. Clamper style silver tone bracelet. Some scratches, some minor wear, but I don't see really any tarnishing, which is nice. Silver tone. I've got this bracelet, which is super boho, where you just, that's cute. I actually like that one. With little wooden beads, it looks like I'm missing, well, no. I was gonna say it looks like some of my beads are missing, but I think that they were intentionally made with just one in some spots. So, but that's fun. Where to go next? I've got, I'll just set earrings to the side for right now. I've got this gold tone bracelet, not a uh, slightly magnetic. So probably a gold plated. See if I see any markings. I do not. Okay, this is a broken necklace. 
it looks like I do have a little hang tag. I don't know what that says. And then, but I'm broken on this side. Gold tone with some light tarnishing on that one. That'd be good for craft though. And I will be um, with a lot of this. If you are a crafter, let me know because I have quite a few um, craft lots that I can make up from a lot of these. So um, this feels like hematite. Let's see, not magnetic. And then this is very cold. I'm guessing that that's some kind of a quartz. I did not pull my presidium out, but the bummer is that it's broken. So, but still a really pretty piece and looks like it would be a pretty easy fix. So that might be a nice one if you're interested in winning the giveaway. That might be a good one. Okay, we have pearls, but it looks like uh, they are hand-tied faux and no, ex none of the jewelry parts to make it into a necklace. So I don't know whether this was, I don't know. I guess that maybe they fell off. Ooh, that's pretty. Um... Lots of verdigris, though. See on the back side. Um, but a uh, stretch bracelet. And these very light turquoise blue stones. This is... I don't know what this is. No stretch. I don't know, guys. I don't know what that is. I've got nothing, but an anklet maybe? And you just roll it on? I don't know. Here's another one of those. Okay, what the heck are these things? Are they bracelets and you just roll them on? But I have a huge wrist and they're even still big on me. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's see what we have here. Looks like J. Crew. It is J. Crew. I do have a little bit of tarnishing here, but all of my stones are there, and it's the classic J. Crew statement necklace. Let's do a quick measurement on that one. I'm not loving the tarnish though. See it? It's especially bad right in here. But we'll still measure it. With the extender, we are at about a 10 inch. And without the extender, and that would be a 20 inch, a 10 inch drop. And with out it looks like we're at about eight inches so a 16 inch length so that one would be cool to um, take the stones from too because of that wear okay we've got parfoic is what it looks like and i've got a little bit of scratching on this one right here if you can see and let's see European was $5.99, so made in China. So definitely a lower end line of jewelry, I would say. I've got this right here, fashion jewelry. Look at that blinginess. And nothing on the back, no price. But they are pretty, I like that blue. That's a really pretty, like an indigo blue on those. Then I've got this, which is just a clamshell with a starfish and nothing on the back, no maker or anything. I've got a ring, looks like it's a bumblebee ring. And it is, uh, 
has the adjustable extender. I'm guessing that this looks like a pewter to me, if I had to guess. I mean, I guess that we could scratch it and see. I think that I see a little bit of copper in there. Oh, I am turning blue, guys. Look at that. So I guess that it is sterling silver. Hmm. That has a ton of patina to it, if that is the case. Let me see if I see any markings. I don't see any markings at all. Let me know what you guys think. Could that possibly be sterling silver with that much patina? Doesn't it look kind of coppery? Let me try to scratch. That, that just looks so coppery to me. Let me wipe that one spot. Do you see how it kind of shimmers a little copper? I don't know. My jewelry friends will hopefully help me. Blue. I mean, and it is a blue blue. Hmm. Pretty piece. With the bumblebee. I think that so far that would definitely be the winner. Okay, where do we want to go now? Let's try to find something easy. And this is the, um, what is that called? The, the eye, the, it's not the evil eye, it's the, oh, I'm drawing a blank, but with a, like, a brushed brass tone, and it's one of those bracelets where you just, you pull on it, and it Feels like a faux suede, almost like a velvet. So that's kind of a fun piece. I like those because they fit everyone. Then we have a really pretty. That looks like Brighton. I've got this handy dandy. We'll see if it works. No, Christopher... Radkey, it looks like. Let's see. I'm probably going to be better doing like this. Christopher Radkey, I think. Really pretty um, snowflake. And I love snowflakes. They remind me of Jody, Bryn's mom in New York. She always gets me snowflakes because she knows how much I love the snow. So I always think of her whenever I see them. Such a sweet, thoughtful woman. Then we've got those. I remember these were so popular in the 80s. My mom had one. It was a big necklace, and it was a gold-plated... Um, and they took took an actual leaf and they imprinted it into and made jewelry out of it. So that reminds me of my mom. So funny, those two pieces right in a row reminding me of family. I love that. Okay, guys, I'm trying. Okay, this looks like just fashion. This doesn't even, it's metal, but it feels like it's like a tin or something. It's a really, really lightweight metal. Definitely not sterling, but it's, you know, kind of a cool piece. I'm sure that once you had it laying all right, that it would be kind of fun. Here is that necklace, the leaf necklace, but that's uh, definitely seen some hard times. It's seen some things, guys. It has seen some things. 
and I do have a maker's mark on it. It is Zad. Zad. Never heard of Zad before, have you? All right. Where to next? We have a stretch bracelet with a rhinestone encrusted cross on it. Gold tone. Then we have this. This is interesting. It's like a wire wrapped and all of this is like wrapped. It's kind of cool. Let's do a... It's very feminine. This one is at its current setting. Hmm. It looks like it can go from 17 inches long up to an additional three up to a 20 inch long. So that's kind of cool actually, I kind of dig it. I think because it's very coquettish, very feminine. Then we have this bracelet, which is one of those barrel turn wooden beads. Ooh, something fell. What in the world was that? I don't even know. Okay, we've got this one, which is like a cloisonne with a gold rope. That's kind of pretty. Not magnetic, so definitely a brass on that one. Then we have this big old honker statement thing with no markings on it. The stone is cold, but it looks like that's a dyed halite. I think that that's what you would call it, that it's a faux turquoise. And then that bead is not cold. That feels like an acrylic. All right, we are getting through. I would say that we're about halfway done, but a lot of it's the bigger stuff that we've done already. So here is this one. There is a little bit of tarnishing to it, as hopefully you can see. It's um, one of, I don't know what that, it reminds me of the Thanksgiving, um, what are those things called? Cornucopia, is that? Right, and then you would have like the fruit and stuff hanging out of the opening. Fruit and vegetables and all that fun stuff. This is a very tangled, slightly cold, but very tarnished um, necklace. So I am not... I'll save that for a craft piece because those beads would be fun for craft. I keep dropping stuff with my elbow. Sorry, guys. Look at this earring. <laughs> that is an earring, you guys. That is crazy. There's a pair of hunkin earrings right there. But again, a ton of vertigree on the back here. Then I have, good lord, these big old hoops. Let's try to get all of the hoops together. Here's another pair with, again, some vertigree. Those are pretty, though. I like this. That's really pretty. Uh, let's see. We have those hoops, which are just a silver tone. Yep, very magnetic. 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 It just dawned on me that I wasn't checking all of these. 
that one is not. Okay. I think that I'll have to set the hoops to the side because I'm about done finding hoops in the pile of stuff. So we'll set those to the side for now. All right, let's see what this fun thing is. Oh, I see these. These are like those, um, those, I think they're called threaders. So it's got this really fun iridescent, almost Aurora Borealis silver tone. And then this goes, hangs out of your ear and then it dangles in the back. Not magnetic, so let's test to see if it's silver. Kind of looks like it. It looks like it maybe it's silver plated because it's I'm seeing a little bit of blue, but it's mostly just eating the line. So, but those are pretty. And Irene, I went with red. What do you think? I did that for you, my friend. Okay, stretch bracelet, rose gold with these rhinestone looking beads, really pretty. Then we have that evil eye, the eye thing, the all seeing eye thing, and then the Hansa. I think that's what that's called, something like that. Oh, there's the black, super big and chunky, but they're missing some, some of the black metal. Then we have another hematite, that one's pretty. That one's a hematite necklace, the barrel clasp with these really pretty um, beads. It's like a coral, a blue, a uh, light champagne-y, and uh, maybe a purpley, pretty. Okay, I was trying to get this one. This is just a plastic bead. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. Um, plastic bead necklace. Here's a little necklace that says love. Stretch with some verdigris right there. This is... A uh, cute little bracelet. It's got, I can't tell. So there's rhinestones in some of them and then some have like studs. But they don't quite match up. So was that the intention? All that it says down here is China right there. I don't see any other markings on it. So it's definitely a feminine looks vintage to me. My goodness, I'm dropping so much stuff on the floor. Okay, so I have an earring here. Let me get that out. And then I've got this thing that's got all of these hooks. I don't know if this is supposed to be a belt or if it's, um, what is that called? Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank where it's like got steampunk. I don't know if this is supposed to be like steampunk or something. I don't know. It's very strange but it, I don't think it's tangled. I think that it is how it is supposed to be right here. So that is interesting. It's 
Sorry for the shake, guys. All right. Necklace with some bonus hairs. Whoa. Um, some pretty beads with it, but just very fashion, very acrylic. Um, that's not even metal, that's some kind of a plastic. Okay, this is very pretty and very vintage, it looks like, but very broken as well. As you can see on this side, we are missing, and they are in there. There's one of them. So that would need to be repaired. Not, not real pearls, but they are hand-tied in between. Then we have another faux pearl necklace, hand tied, very heavy beads, not very cold, but missing uh, my connectors. Then we have this, that's pretty. That feels like sterling. It has that buttery quality that Marilyn talks about. So it looks like the chain is sterling, but the pendant is not, which is interesting because I swear I see 925 right there. But, I mean, it is not registering. And a really pretty faceted Hmm. That's a pretty piece. I don't see any other markings on it. Mm -mm. And I see an Italy on the necklace. And what looks like a 925. Right in there. Hmm. Okay, here's another one of those bracelets. So those must all go together. That's just the three, uh, three velvety suede cords. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's pretty with the dragonfly. on a, uh, one of those like silk cords. I like the iridescent quality of that. Not magnetic. It doesn't look like silver though. I didn't have the best scratch, but no, it's not. We're getting down there, guys. We are getting down there. This is a necklace that is all tangled. 
it's a problem child. We'll set it to the side for now. This is Ann Taylor. And it's a really pretty long necklace. And it's all of these individual necklaces that have been like compressed together to form this really pretty long silver tone necklace. Then we have this earring with all of these long leaves and here's the little match to it. Fun, it's very uh, free flowing and organic and how it would move because it's so light but looks substantial. But those are really pretty. I like those. Okay, this says 925 on it. With no other marking that I see but that definitely has some weight to it. And it definitely feels that buttery and has the look of sterling. My scratches are not good today, guys for whatever reason. Okay. Yep, blue on both. Pretty, I don't know what that is supposed to be. And it definitely has a little where it needs to be polished. But there's the 925. Pretty piece. Very small length. It is about seven, seven and three quarter inches total. So about 15 inches, 15 and a half. Okay, let's not tackle that yet. Let's tackle these. These have a sterling silver kind of look to them, don't they? Let's first test magnetic. Nope. Very, very magnetic. That's weird, though, because they tarnished so evenly like sterling silver does. So, but the magnet does not lie. Okay, we have these, like gumball type. They remind me of Kate Spade. But I see no markings on them. They have a very Kate Spade vibe to them. They need to be clean. They're a little on the dirty side, but not really tarnished. So that's good. Okay, where can we go now? Another one of those faux pearl with nothing, with uh, no extensions or anything. This is pretty. This is a green and pearl. Hmm. They kind of feel like real pearls. Hmm. 
all blue. So that's really pretty. Very feminine. Obviously, it's like a little girl's necklace. I wonder if you could double that up for a bracelet. It would be hard to put on, though. That is about uh, 15 inches. So a choker. Very feminine. Really pretty. Okay, I have all of these. At some point, I'm going to have to stop and pick up everything that I've dropped on the floor. Okay, there's this thing. which is no maker and just this weird thing. At first I thought that this was like a bracelet that was tangled in it, but it's uh, got jump rings and it's attached. Very um, lightweight, inexpensive feeling. Then I've got a broken, what looks like a J. Crew esque necklace here. I've got, these are fun earrings, although. with the strawberry, but this one is missing a strawberry. And then I have a strawberry something or other in, tangled in this mess. My granddaughter, my love, on this pearl necklace, but it looks just silver tone. It does not have, and let's see. I think the pearls are real. I have these earrings here that are like shell, like dyed shell, but very, very tarnished here. I've got... I saw another mate. Oh, I don't like how that looks. See how it's like shattered glass? And I'm sure that it's intentional. But it kind of makes my skin crawl a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Because it looks so broken. I have got you guys, look at this. All of these little bits and baubles and and I know that this is where all the good stuff a lot of the time lays. Those are pretty. Are they magnetic? Yep. I guess that I should do this. That's probably a sterling silver ring, but it is bent and seen better days. Let's see what we have over here. Not seeing a lot, guys. That's a pretty earring. That's pretty with the tortoise shell. We have a 1909-2009 Alpha Epsilon Omega. I think that's right. So it's a fraternity pin 
And that does say 925 on it. Which would make sense, most of the fraternity and sorority pins. Although that's not, that's not testing as blue, y'all. See right down here, we got a faker. 925. But it is not. I wonder if it's maybe rhodium plated. For my jewelry uh, friends out there, would rhodium test slightly magnetic? I don't know. But that would explain it if it was rhodium plated because it does have a shiny appearance to it which the rhodium plated, that's what, what it would do. Here's the match to that pair of earrings. And I'm guessing that those are sterling. think that I scratched hard enough, but maybe not. Okay, guys, more bits and baubles here. I have a cross here. This to me looks like, um, I don't know, maybe like an Israeli or a Middle Eastern cross. It's very ornate, a Jerusalem maybe. And that is sterling on this one. We've got this piece. I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of something from the game Clue, where it was like, you know, the wrench or the whatever, which makes me smile. I love board games. We've got a bent heart ring. Okay, let me, we've got that. I don't know what that symbol is but it is dirty. Definitely needs a good polish. And also sterling. We had a good bit of sterling in here, guys. I am impressed, thread up. A lot of it's pretty dirty and fairly simple pieces, smaller strolling pieces, but still a good, a good bit. And I'm hopping up. To pick up what I have dropped. So we had that. We had another faux pearl. And then we have this, which is, oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let me slide all of that to the side. This is J. Crew, very unassuming J. Crew, minimalist style. To me, it looks much more like Madewell, which is their sister company. Um, it is definitely a choker. I've got pearl beads that are wandering around. This is a pretty piece, guys. Okay, without the extender. We are at about a 16 and a half. And then with the extender, 
we had another two and a half. So, yeah. That might be one of the best ones of the bunch. Here is the rest of the bits and baubles that I have in here. Those are just some, oh, that's pretty. I didn't see the mate to that though. Uh, there's my missing strawberry, faux pearl, loose pearl. That is not magnetic, but I did not see the mate to that. So yeah, that was my jewelry. Let me know what you thought. You can again email me at happyhourhollers at gmail.com if you are interested in any of these items. I will be doing on June the 12th, I will be doing a giveaway for the winner. Again, comment, um, go back into the video and find where I mentioned that, ha ha ha, um, and comment um, to be entered into the giveaway, and you will get to pick one of these pieces, and I will send it to you if you are located in the U.S., U.S. residents only, and I will send it to you free of charge on us. So thank you again so very much for watching. Tomorrow we have Marilyn at Shady NY. And again, we had Brighton yesterday. And then Stina Resells, French teacher in VA, Lindsay Clark, and Timeless Jewel by Deborah. So please make sure that you tune in and watch with all of my friends and see what everyone got. Make sure that you are subscribed to all of the channels. We will be um, double checking that for the winner to make sure that they are subscribed. And you need to comment on everyone's video, please. And on our video, you'll know what you need to comment based on what we put earlier in. So thank you so much for watching guys and Happy Sunday, and we will see you on our next video. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all of the things, and a huge shout out again to Brighton for organizing this. I've been under the weather this weekend and finally feeling better, so thank you for bearing with me, um, Brighton, because I know that it was a little stressful with my last minute upload. So thank you, thank you, guys. We will see you on our next video. Love. HHH. -H -H.